I don't like this fight. Oh, just kidding. This fight is amazing. Okay. Okay. I was just kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for some spectacular high elo plays. If you like what you're seeing and want some more, make sure you're subscribed. Let's hop right back in with a narrow assassination job. Thank you. Everybody on Snowball Barrage's team has just died, but even master players can't help themselves to a little blind bloodlust. As soon as she cues, as soon as she cues, I will be going in. The whole gang shows up mid, but Arc Second isn't alone. Keep an eye on Greg is coming into support on the map. He stepped forward, I juke right. He feels like he has me pinned down. Then he flashes, I go left on purpose. I literally fed him like false information before that.
It's a party bot lane and the enemy team thinks Nautilus is alone, but Spectra has Crescendum ready and a whole lot of DPS. That's why he's the GOAT! Right? I mean, hey, he sucks, so he let me do that to him at least. Hey! Rat IRL's team is going for the Dragon. He's got 25 Magi stacks and 26 Dark Harvest stacks. Once he sees Vi going in, he knows the rest of the team is nearby. On fire, baby! Anywho. I did it, I did it, I did it! Ah! I was still out there. Let's go! The enemy duo spots Thresh roaming up the river, but Duel has such great feather coverage, it doesn't matter. I hit the goofling! Oh my god, dude! I am an absolute maniac, bro! Roxa and Milio spot Kindred going for the Red Steel. They take out the Blast Cone immediately. 200 IQ move, followed by a 200 IQ combo. I got the kick, the triple. Let's go! Easy game, easy life. I was just waiting for the angle, they lined up perfectly and we hit every single one. The Q which, uh, which does a billion damage, so it's really good to max Q. Oh, am I in trouble? I might be, we'll see. I got blue. I am so happy Vega decided to old cash you instead of me. He could basically choose who to delete. Oh. I got him. I'm smurfing on these kids.
was gonna say, I was like, we have not seen. It's a barren attempt by the enemy team, but Kedril and Quesante have completely split the backline from the frontline, which gives them easy pickings on the DPS. The enemy can entreated down their team, but at this point, he's got no ult and no damage left. Next up, I just want you to pretend you're this kindred. All in me! All in me! See what happens, man! Get him, Ari, get him! He's low, get him, bro! At this very moment, watch where Duel's feathers are. His ult is down, so Red Team thinks the skank is free. I'll jump on me, please jump on me. Jump on me, please. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, dude. No. Valorant e no LOL não tem. Eu fico incrédulo, velho. Incrédulo. Beleza, esse Hulk aqui eu nunca vi na vida. Jace gets dove, but it's legit Korea to the rescue. Actually, this is probably one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever seen in League. No! No! And speaking of 1 HP moments, sometimes you just can't help but throw your body at Faker. Just to say you've killed Faker. You're a little bit of a goblin, aren't you? Okay. 
Why, bro? Why are you? This is the most chaotic commentary I think I've ever heard. And that fight was the difference of one ward. Stop pinging me! Let me focus! So let me do my job, which is the 80 carry. Over the wall jump flash kick. That's the stun. Frozen tomb coming out. Elioya dashes forward, dodges the falling star. There's the kick. Elioya perfectly played to escape the clutches of caps under the tower. Yike arrives, but the mid jungle are out. Mad Lions maybe looking for a bot dive into the tomb. Going in with the quickness. They're looking just to die. Sign on Sam. They're taking down Mickey Lowe as well. Hillisang take the tower. The hook dodged by Hillisang superbly. And now Mickey down to 100 HP. Hillisang. Thank you so much for watching. That's going to do it for today's episode all on Challenger Plays. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe for some more good stuff like this daily. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and have yourself a wonderful day.